So this video is still on the chapter of complex matrices. We have been proving properties. We introduced these properties of complex matrices. Okay. And we proved some of them. We proved this one so far in the previous video, this one, this one. And on this video we are going to prove this one and this one probably, I think. I'll see. Okay. Okay, so we are about to prove that the complex of the product of matrix A times B is the same as the complex of matrix A times the complex of the conjugate, sorry, the conjugate of matrix B. Okay. So how should I do this? Let us call it A B. We do the conjugate here, okay, and let us call it Cij, okay. So the conjugate of the product of AB will be Cij. So let us see what this Cij is. Well, Cij is the product of matrix A times B, right? So, it will be the sum of all the entries of A, I'm going to call it A, I, K, right? And B, K, because those two, they have to be the same, K, J, right? Okay, but C, I, J is, so this will be the notation for the, um, so this, yes, the, there will be K, the variation here will be on K, right? Okay, so K would have to start, begin somewhere and end somewhere here. Okay, so that is A, I, K, B, K, J, but this one is only the product of A, B, okay? And C, I, J is not only the product, but the conjugate of the product. Okay, so conjugate of the product, so that will be A I K B K J conjugate, right? Um, because the sum of the conjugate is, the conjugate of the sum is the sum of the conjugate, right? And this one will be the sum of A I K conjugate times B K J right but if you look well this is nothing else but A conjugate times B conjugate right so we began here the conjugate of AB and we ended up with A conjugate B conjugate, right? So this concludes the proof. So the last one would be this, the transpose of the conjugate is the same as the conjugate of the transpose, right? Uh, this one is going to be heavy on notation. I'm going to do it quickly, okay. So we have to prove that the transpose of the conjugate is the same as the conjugate of the transpose, right? Okay, let us begin here. Conjugate transpose. This is going to be, I'm going to call it something. Let us say B I J. Okay. Um, and I have to call something to the um, conjugate of the transpose too. So let me give it another letter, C, I, J. Okay, so the transpose of the conjugate will be this B, I, J, and the conjugate of the transpose will be this C, I, J. Okay, let us not forget that if I have a matrix key IJ 
and I transpose this one, I'm going to get key j i, right? This is the notation for um, for the transpose. Okay, for the matrix A, I'm going to call it A i j. Okay. Okay, so this uh, conjugate transpose. So this B i j is what? Is this A, right? This A i j first transpose, right? Uh, sorry, conjugate, first conjugate, and transpose, right? Conjugate and transpose. So it's A, conjugate, and transpose, right? And what about this C? C i j is going to be this A, A i j transpose, right, because it's transpose first, and conjugate. Okay, but those two they commute, right, so if B i j is the same as C i j, right, because this is the same as A i j transpose, um, conjugate, right, so B i j is equal to C i j. So B i j is equal to C i j. So these two are equal. So these two are equal, right? So that concludes the proof, right? Or we can say transposition and conjugation, they commute. Okay, transposition and conjugation commute.